This is just hoarding. At this point, I'm a, I'm a, I, at this point, I'm a product hoarder. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. So in today's video, I am going to be cleaning out my products. Um, it's getting towards the end of the year and products have a shelf life. If you did not know, a lot of products do have a 12 month, some have 24 um, month shelf life. And after that, those products you shouldn't use anymore. They are expired. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just my products that I'm cleaning out there are some that I'm going to be getting rid of just because I don't use and there will be some that I'm going to be getting rid of because they have expired so just sit back I'm going to be talking through a lot of the products some that I may not have talked about on my channel yet so I am going to just talk through these products go through we're going to go shelf line by shelf line I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about why I have my products in the order that I do there's a method to this madness it's a little bit out, not organized anymore um, but while I'm cleaning out I'm gonna do some extra organizing and I'm gonna be re-upping on some products too so I'm gonna be going and probably getting some new products and so my next video will more than likely show that and I'll leave spaces um, for that on the shelf all right so um let's just go through these products and get into it now this top shelf you guys um is mostly my products that are not in a line in a line i mean a product line so a lot of these other shelves i have like shampoo conditioner stylers all from the same product line and i keep those together this is some of my like staples or some that i just know are good and i haven't tried the other products in the line so what i have up here supposed to be is my gels and then like my cleansers and then my mousses and spray leave-ins that are not a part of a product line so I think the majority of these are actually probably still good um so first I've got my um, Aztec Indian healing clay I know that's good I just bought that I don't even think this oh this does have an expiration I think but it's in 2022 so I'm not worried about that now this Eden curl defining cream also does not have an expiration date on it now i have had this for a long time like a really long time like at least at least a year year and a half so i'm gonna put this in the maybe get rid of um pile because i don't know we might need to get rid of that this is my extreme wet line i know that's good this eco styler gel i have had for a very long time as well and it has a 24 month shelf life so that's the good thing about this gel because i don't use it as much but i do like it so i buy the smaller um tube of it and 24 months i can do that i'm pretty sure i haven't had this for two years it may be close but i am going to keep this and i have some oil up here also so i'm going to keep let's see So I don't have a um, expiration date on my oil. This is y'all a big old thing of aloe vera gel um, that I bought. This expires in 2022. I don't, if y'all have any way to use aloe vera gel, I bought this for my scalp. Um, and I'll be telling y'all about that in a video coming up. But I haven't really been using this that much, but it's still good. This coconut co-wash, but as I am, is one of my staples I absolutely love. I do believe this has a 12 month, yes, 12 month shelf life. So I am going to keep this one for a little bit longer. And now I'm almost out of this Affigy. Affigy also has a 12 month. I just bought this and I just got the Affigy balancing conditioner. Both have a 12 month shelf life. So I'm not going to get rid of that. However, this Mousse Def is pretty much empty, which is why I have another one. Um, I don't actually see a shelf life on this one, but this is going in the throw away pile. Um, I don't even, this is in my oils. Now this oil I have had, this is 24 months. I got this at Curl Fest. So 
this is still some good this is the other this is a empty bottle this is an empty bottle this is why you clean out your shelves people this is why you clean out your shelves um this head and shoulders i know i have had for a while but i don't see 2020 january 2021 i'm probably not gonna use this before january 21 21 but it has a lot in it but it's going in the throwaway pile uh, and this foam I got when I had my um, passion twist and I just got it so I'm gonna keep it so I'm gonna keep my foams back here where they were and then I'm gonna add my two Affigy products and then what I have left of A little bit more organized up top got rid of two products okay y'all so moving on to this second shelf now a lot of the rest of these products are probably curl box products and um meaning i probably haven't bought them as recently as i have some of these products up here um so i am going to have to go the good thing about curl box is you can go see the boxes like for years so I'm probably going to have to go on there and see when I actually purchased a lot of these products. And then that's going to tell me whether they actually hit their expiration date or not. So starting with um, the styling cream and the stronghold gel, these actually just came out Juneteenth, I believe, of this year. So these both have a 12 month shelf life, um, but I know they are still some good because I got those right after that. Now, I don't know if Crowbox actually came out with a box for these but I canceled my curl box subscription in July um, so I know these are still good because uh, they have a 12 month shelf life now the these two conditioners both the medium and the intensive conditioner they both also have a 12 month shelf life and I believe this box came out um, like October November specialty box for curl box so chances are these two products have probably expired um and i'm just like bro do i really want to throw these away now i will say this the intensive conditioner is pretty much empty um there's literally probably this much left in here so i because i use that a lot i might do my hair this week and just use it one more time i don't know to get some more out of it because i'm like i can't these products are so expensive and i got these in a box for like 40 bucks but um the medium conditioner i did not use a lot and so i am probably going to have to oh my goodness i probably got to trash it oh that hurts i do also have the leave-in for pattern and the shampoo for pattern that i got at the same time i'm letting somebody borrow those right now so once i get them back if they're not empty oh no i re-upped on the leave-in conditioner because i had used it all so the leave-in I will still be able to keep, but the shampoo is probably gonna have to go too. Um, now these Miguel Moisture RX also came in a specialty curl box. Um, a lot of these products are pretty much gone. <laughs> um, this is the styling gel, which I absolutely love. I'm probably gonna re-up on this, but these products have a 12 month shelf life, so they have expired um so i'm gonna be getting rid of but i'm gonna re-up on this so i'm gonna put this in a re-up pile instead of a just throw away and not repurchase pile um but styling gel moisturizing overnight conditioner um i did use a lot of this i do like this one i probably i might buy this one again i used it a lot when i first got this back in september of last year but i stopped using it as much so we're gonna see i um i'm gonna put this in the maybe keep maybe re-up on pile um now let's see this moisturizing leave-in conditioner y'all it's a lot in here it's a lot in here this is another reason um if y'all have not seen my video about curl box why i canceled my curl box i just started getting so many products and you see like I didn't even get a chance to use them all 
um so this has expired as well i don't think i'm gonna re-up on this i did not love this um the shampoo and moisturizing conditioner did not come in that curl box i actually after i got my curl box with those products in them i purchased these separately and i think i purchased these black friday of last year so these also have a 12 month shelf life so i've got a little bit more time to use these and then the last oh no 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 we got more <laughs> got a lot see i can't even see it the moisturizing um this moisturizing hair butter also from the rx line pretty much used all of it i really do like this line i really do like this line so i maybe will re-up on this as well and then it also came with this moisturizing scalp treatment which i did not use y'all um but like twice i don't see a shelf life on it so i'll add it up here to the rest of like my oils and things but it'll probably be it'll probably be gone and then the last smile product i have is the babasu and mint deep conditioner this has a 12 month shelf life this was not a part of any of the curl boxes i actually bought this uh not too long ago i am gonna have to start dating if you guys don't date your products i'm probably gonna start doing that and let me know if you do um that way i know like whether this is old or what's the deal but i know i just bought this lip like within the last six months so i probably got at least six more months out of it all right y'all so before i move on i'm gonna add my pattern products back up here um and you know it's bad because i talked about y'all need to get rid of the products if they expire but this was like october november and it's still november so i feel like one time one more time it ain't gonna hurt okay so then i have my maui moisture products uh that i love so um i believe and i'll have to check the site but i think these were september curl box items so or december i don't know september december i'll put it over there and show you which ones it was but um <clears throat> these products have an 18 month shelf life so they don't even they have a year and a half which is good however gone literally gone and this is why i just need to clean off my shelf because why is this up here this, there's nothing in this i cannot use this right um so yeah this goes in the trash pile i am oh i need to probably get some more of this okay in the potential re-up pile um this maui moisture coconut oil curl milk all these products except for the shampoo and conditioner um came in that curl box so this has a 24 month shelf life um and i've pretty much used i don't know if you're able to see i've pretty much used the majority of this but this has another year almost on it so i'm gonna keep it this coconut weightless oil mist has two years so we're gonna keep this the shampoo has 18 months and i bought this after i got those products because i tried that mask if y'all have seen my favorites video i tried that mask and i was like oh i gotta go get this shampoo so um these are still good these have a really good shelf life 18 months i believe the conditioner also has 18 months so i will be able to keep both of these and then this um was in the curl box and it is the hair butter i haven't used as much of the hair butter um i don't know why it smells really good and it's got does it have coconut in it cocoa butter i don't know i got a lot of this left but it still got at least six more months on it so we are gonna keep it and i have one of these little packets i think i when i ordered that um my L conditioner they gave me the moisturizing hair butter but i mean i can keep it I, this ain't gonna do nothing for my hair these little packets they're cute but that's gonna be one section of my hair and then what what we're gonna do so i am finished with this row i did have to get rid of well i didn't really have to get rid of anything that product was just empty so this um roll is all done we are gonna go down y'all can't see it right now but we're gonna drop it down y'all seen the um the kroger commercial
that's what we're about to do. Um, if you haven't seen the Kroger commercial, what I just did made no sense. But anyway, going on to the next <laughs> shelf. So we've made it down to this shelf now. Um, I got a little bit of everything down here. I got some Mael down here. Um, but <laughs> y'all, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Don't judge me. But for some reason, I keep putting empty. I mean, it ain't empty. In my defense, it ain't empty. But I cannot use this. So I need to re up on this i actually don't know if i'm gonna re-up on this and i'll tell you why but i do still have dang this is almost empty too um this is both the rosemary mint strengthening shampoo line if you've seen my favorites video i'll talk about these in that video these products have a 12 month shelf life um i did not these are not curl box products and i did not put any dates when i got them on there but i I don't think it's been a year, but they're pretty much empty. Um, this is empty, so I'm probably going to, I don't know. They're going to go in the throwaway pile for now. Um, well, at least this is going to go in the throwaway pile for now, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm going to keep the shampoo over here, which is going to go up here with my Myel products. Um, so what else I got in here? Uh, the main choice tropical moringa braid out glaze. Now y'all what's the shelf life on this because ooh, i don't see one i don't see one and if i don't see it it don't expire y'all love this stuff i love this stuff like it's pretty much empty it's i can't even get a full head of hair out of this oh so this probably needs to go up in a re-up pile. Um, yeah, this needs, needs to go in a re-up pile. Before we move on to um, main choice, I do have the Myel Cool Sculpting Custard, which has a 12 month shelf life. This is probably coming up on its, its year. I don't use this as much as I used to. Um, I've kind of found some other products that work better for my hair than this, so I may actually give this away. I know I have. I know a couple people who like to use this. Um, so if they, I'll tell them. You know, hey, it's probably got a couple more months on it. But if you want it, you can have it. So we're gonna put this in the giveaway pile. I got three pi three piles. Throw away, re up, and giveaway. Okay. Um, so next, I've got these as I am products that I bought recently. These have a 12 month shelf life. I've got both the oil treatment and the tea tree shampoo for scalp. So I'm going to keep those and we're going to move those right here. And y'all, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that y'all are seeing this. This is what I got left of Kinky Curly. Now, depending on what I use this for, like if I'm using this to refresh a bun or something, this will do. This will do. So this needs to go up in my re-up pile um, because, ah, but I may see if, replace, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this over here because I like Kinky Curly, but I'm gonna maybe venture out and try something else along these lines. And I also have this too, um, this Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Primer that I pretty much have been using kind of when I would use this. So we're just gonna leave it. We're actually gonna move it up here because I well I have the shampoo. Now this come clean shampoo, what's the shelf life on this? I don't see. Do either of these have a shelf life? Huh. I don't see any expiration on these two. Um this is my clarifying shampoo. So I will keep this. Um there's only two products, so I'll keep the two of these right here. Okay, so now to my main choice. The only other main choice I have is this 3-in-1 conditioner, which I don't see a shelf, y'all. These ain't got no shelf life either, so they ain't expired in my book. Oh, no. Okay, so didn't really have to get rid of much there. Now we're going to move on to my Aunt Jackie's 
Um, these also came in a curl box. Uh, now I'm gonna go check and I'm gonna put it over there what curl box this came in and that's gonna tell me whether they are old or not. I say there's still some good. Um, so this has 12 months. This is the buttercream, so I will keep this. If y'all don't know about Fix My Hair, y'all ain't seen that video, so you need to go watch it. This has a 12 month shelf life. This quench moisture intensive leave-in, y'all. Now, if y'all, if I were to open up these other products, right? Like, let's see. The buttercream, pretty much, you know, made a dent in that. Y'all know about the Fix My Hair. If you don't, like I said, go find out. This I used once and I was like, nah, nah. So, um, and I actually don't even think I used this. Maybe I did. I don't think I did in the Aunt Jackie's Crow Box video. Um, so this is going in my giveaway. Somebody gonna get this. Cause it's still, it's 12 months. So you still got till April or May of next year to use this. So that's going in the giveaway. The slicked. This um this flexible styling glue we are keeping as well as this cocoa wash which again I ain't use much of this either um I probably should use this again because it wasn't bad it just was not a go wash to me um so we are gonna keep the majority of these that makes me happy okay and now we've come into my Shea Moisture section none of my Shea Moisture products came from Crowbox. Um, I just got these not too long ago. This is my second jar this year, I believe, of the Protein Power Treatment. And then I also got the shampoo that goes with it. This is why this is why I may not re-up on that Myel Strengthening. Now, I could take the rest of what's in there and maybe mix it with this one and do a deep conditioner um, if I really wanted to use that corner that's left in there. But I don't think I'm going to re-up because I started using these instead. And I, oh, I love the way they smell. I ain't gonna talk about product. I'm trying not to talk too much about products, but both of these have a uh, uh these don't have a shelf life, but y'all, I just bought these. I literally just bought these. So we're keeping those. Now I also have my Manuka Honey Line, which is also new. I just re-upped on all the Shea Moisture pretty much products. So all this, and then this is kind of my new new from Shea Moisture, the Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Primer. But I don't know if y'all can tell, it's it's literally right here, like it's about to be gone. Um, I don't see a shelf life on this one either. I don't know if Shea Moisture just don't have expiration dates on their products or what. But all of these will be staying. Okay, and we are gonna drop down to the next. We got two more shelves, y'all. Y'all, if y'all still here. Y'all done saw a lot of, heard about a lot of products and I appreciate y'all for sticking around. So we're going to move down to my last two shelves, which I guarantee you are pretty much all throw away. All right, y'all. So down to my last two shelves, which literally have dust on them because I don't use them as much. Now y'all are like, what? You raved about this luster stuff. I did. But the gel is my favorite. You see the gel is not here because I've used it all. So that's in my two re-up. When I re-up, I'm definitely getting some of the gel. But um, this was in a March 2020 box, I believe. So these products have a 12 month shelf life. There's still some good. Um, now I have actually used these. Like this is the curl, curl definer. And like this is, I mean, I probably got maybe one and a half two more uses out of this so I'm gonna keep this as well as the shampoo and conditioner so everything has a 12 month shelf life I actually don't see anything on the shampoo but um, I'm gonna keep these because what did I say March um, I got a while if I want to jump back into using these so I'm gonna keep my lusters now can two. This was also um, a curl box. These were January um, 2020. Can two products. There's only two here because I think I gave the rest of them away. <laughs> I, if I use a product one or two times and I don't do a video on it, 
Um, chances are, I don't really like it. Um, I don't see any expiration on these and like I said it was January um so these I'm gonna try these one more time like I'm literally gonna try them one more time and if I don't like them I'm gonna give them away um this was November 2020 I believe this was the design essentials that had the shampoo and conditioner the leave-in and then the curl forming custard um these have a 12 month shelf life so these have expired um probably more than likely they probably got like three more days four more days on them um but i don't think i'm going to use them in the next three or four days so they are going into the throwaway pile other products i think this is kind of expensive too for the size that it is so i found some other products that work well for braid outs for me so this is just going to be an entire throwaway for design essentials and then we have the girls unleashed and i believe i'm going to put it over there i think this was in october 2019 curl box so these if they have a 12 month shelf life 12 month expiration date they have expired so yeah this is the leave-in condition and style cream it has a 12 month shelf life um i did like the way this smell but y'all didn't use this y'all see that that is literally a full jar of product hence why it's on the bottom shelf hence why you haven't seen a video on it um this um curl coil souffle what is it curly coil hd gel souffle also has a 12 month shelf life it has expired um it smells like robitussin so no uh, now i love these this is the curl blast temporary color wax if y'all have not seen that video go check it out i absolutely love this but let's see if it has a 12 month y'all it does it's expired <sighs> is expired and i did just use this if you saw my video where i combined the two i combined this one with this one it's because i knew this one was coming up on its expiration date and or past it so i was like let me get a little bit more out of it but it's fall so i'm gonna mix it um i didn't use that much of it i did use it maybe three or four times um and i think this runs for like 7.99 um i already have re-upped but i got a different color this one of course i just bought in the store like two days ago not two days ago but it feels like two days ago i don't really know but i'm keeping this one for at least another year <laughs> um and then this is the does it all smoothie styler y'all again this one has 12 month shelf life i probably used it once it smells good it smells like coconut it smells like a cantu coconut product but it is pretty much full and it is going in the trash because I do not use it and it has expired so this is probably gonna move up to the top shelf and I'll have created space for maybe some new products all right y'all so I already know the majority of this bottom shelf is leaving us for one reason or another but this is um, a big old thing of macadamia shampoo um, this is what I use when I straighten my hair I don't shampoo with all my other like curly hair shampoos when I straighten my hair I bought this December of last year um, because that was the last time before this past like month ago I straightened my hair so I don't know that I don't think I'm gonna straighten my hair again before December but I will keep it just in case I get like a crazy hair to straighten my hair but it has a 12 month shelf life y'all these Tresemme products <laughs> I don't see a expiration date or a shelf life on them but these are like old old like two years old because i used to use these when i was for everything pretty much and they got to go like they got to go the, this is just hoarding at this point i'm a i'm a I, at this point i'm a product hoarder if i keep these um i've got some joyco down here the intense hydrator 
Uh, this has an 18 month shelf life and this is what I use in conjunction with the macadamia when I straighten my hair. There's literally nothing in here, but I will keep it um, because in the next six, no, I don't know if I bought this a year ago. I probably did. In the next six months, I may straighten my hair, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, Y'all, this Elastic QP, this is one of my Curlbox products. I'll put what month it was over there, but these were trash. These were trash. Okay. Um, they were just, yeah. I don't remember what I gave away, um, but I should have trashed those a long time ago. This Pantene is not even mine. It's my mama's. Um, <laughs> but she told me it was really good. I don't see an um, expiration date on it, so we'll just keep it because I'm not throwing my mama's stuff away. Um, and then my Palmer's. So if you guys saw my Palmer's, Palmer's wash day. Um, my Palmer's was August 2019 curl box. And these have a 12 month shelf life. So they are expired. I did like this little line. Um, but I probably won't be repurchasing it just because I found some stuff that I like better. All right. I got these Suave products, which I've never used. So I think these were... 2020 i think these were maybe like i don't know i'll put it up here but i think it was maybe i don't think these have expired yet i don't see a shelf life on these but i had no desire to use these and um now i did try one of these dove between care hydrating mist or restyling milk um, but I did not like what it did for my hair, so I never used them again. So I may see if I can add these to the giveaway pile, because somebody might like them. They just work for me. Um, <laughs> this is, was from the Lusters, um, which was March 2020. Um, but y'all, I'm not putting this pink moisturizer in my hair. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it for the YouTube. I'm not doing it for nothing. I'm not using this. I'm not using this. And I don't... I, I can put it in a gift to somebody, but I don't know if anybody's going to want to take this. Maybe they're just feeling nostalgic or something, but, uh, I'll put it, I'll, I'm giving, I'm throwing it away. I'm throwing it away. Cream of Nature products. Um, I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like I'm missing one of these products. These also have a 12 month shelf life, but if y'all have seen that, sh that video, I was not in love with these. Although a lot of y'all commented and said you liked them. A lot of y'all said you liked the hair mask. A lot of y'all said you liked the shampoo. Um, so good for y'all. Good for y'all. I'm glad it worked for you guys. Um, I haven't used it literally since I recorded that video. Um, so all of my Cream of Nature products. February of this year, February 2020. So they probably got a couple more months on them. But I mean, I could see if anybody wants them or wants to or wants to try them, but I would not I don't recommend these. So, I'll put them in the giveaway pile, but um there will be like a a warning before I give them to somebody. All right, y'all. So, I have finished cleaning off this bottom shelf. Like I said, pretty much everything is gone in some form or fashion. It's either being given away or it's being thrown away. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed cleaning out my shelf with me. I now have like one and a half down here free shelves that I can get some more products or some try some new products or just double up some double up on some that really work for me. I don't know. But yes, we are now all in date <laughs> and all pretty much organized. Um, so that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of cleaning out my stash, if you'll call it a stash with me. Also, if you're wondering about this bookshelf, if you have a lot of hair products, for me, um, my underneath my sink was just getting ridiculous because after the curl boxes and after all the products, I just didn't have the space for it. So I got this. I think this is a Billy bookshelf from Ikea. Um, I will double check on that if it's if it's not Billy, it's the one that starts with a K or something like that. But I think it was like 59 or 60 bucks 
from Ikea. I will have that link below if you want to get you one of these. I absolutely love this. It has made my hair productness. That's not. It's made it so much better. So, um, yeah. If you want to know about the bookcase, I'll have that link below. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.